What up, Laker Nation? You're here with your host, Kareem. How you guys doing? I want to touch on Dennis Schroeder. The nerve of this man. The nerve of him turning down $84 million. See, that's what's wrong with the NBA. You got guys who's not really on that level feel they can get more money than what they play says. Um... You know, I never knock a man who who want more. My thing is now maybe he want to leave. Now if he want to leave and he turned it down, okay, cool. But to my understanding, he said he want to stay with the Lakers, but he just want to test free agency to you know feel recruit and want to go through that process. My thing is, he he's small. If you look at his body frame, anything can happen. Like for him to be that confident to turn down eighty-four million dollars and feel he can get more in free agency goes to show where this where this this league is going, right? Now, to me, I was I'm a little disappointed in him this year. I thought that he was gonna be a little more dominant. LeBron and AD out, but I still feel it's no excuse. I think we we should still have like I, I don't think we even out west at least while LeBron and AD the team we have at least maybe guys who like fighting for the AC if not an AC a, a, a nine that type of level team and. Dennis Schroeder, this is the time for him where he could have stepped up and be dominant. He He's not dominating. And for guys who could turn down $84 million, so that means he probably looking for the max. And I think his max will be, I think, $27.5 million. And I'm going to do another video another time, maybe tomorrow, and break down tears and what you suspect from each tier. You have max level players, which you suspect from a max level player, which you expect from um, a tier um, lower than that, and also like a mid-level um, minimum uh, guys who want a minimum deal, vet minimum. Um, I'm gonna break down all salaries in another video and what you type of performance you suspect for guys who making that salary. Now, Dennis Schroeder, right now, he makes $15 million. He get $15 million this year. Now, I think his play this year is equivalent to the money he making. I think that's that's good with the performance he's giving us. $15 million, I feel that's good at what he's doing this year. It's not that I'm not trying to say he's a bust or anything, but... He's the point guard, the, the ball in his hand, and we losing a lot of games with Brown and AD out. And I think we got a good enough team with him, without Brown and AD. You know, we have um, Dennis Schroeder, KCP. Um, let's say if Dennis Schroeder was giving us at least 25 a night, 25 to 28 points a night. You know, he should, you want that type of money. You should be able, at least by Brown out, at least a, a 15 or 10 game stretch where you dominate. The ball in your hand, you want the money. The 10 to 15 games stretch, you should be dominating. You probably cannot do no 28 points, 25 points throughout a whole season. That's understandable. For 10 to 15 games, you should be dominant. And uh, you also got. Uh, Kuzma, I think that could get you 20. Montrez, you got um, KCP can get hot anytime. Um, Horton Tucker, the uh, soul's not really playing good, but I ain't gonna say he's a total bust or wash. And then you got um, Wesley Matthew Caruso, um, Markeith Morris, and now Drummond. I feel. That team alone, let's just take out Braun AD. We should at least be like a, a ninth in the West. Because West is tough. They got some good teams out there. So that's why I'm going to say at least about like a ninth seed. 
if Dennis Schroeder is really that guy. See, that's the problem I'm having. You know, I ain't going to be too much longer with this video, but that's the problem I'm having with these guys. A lot of guys be wanting the money, but their performance don't say that. Now, you're supposed to be, this your time right now. Right now, you're supposed to be our best NBA player on the best player on the Lakers roster. You, you number three. is Braun, AD, then it's supposed to be you. You're supposed to be our third guy. And you're not playing up to it. You're not dominant. We, we need dominant performance. We need them 28, 10 assists, a couple steals, and M, uh, impact 28, not, not a dry 28. You know, 25. You know, we need that. So, you know, the nerve of him turn that money down. And maybe, like I said, maybe he don't want to play for the Lakers. He don't want to play for the Lakers. The Lakers should should uh, feel his energy. Like, when you're around a person, you can figure out. You know if a person happy or not. You could pretty much figure out if this guy want to be there. You know, I, that's why, I like, the Dwight Howard um, situation years ago, the Lakers should have known he was going to leave. You know, and that way you could have just shipped them out, you know, instead of losing for nothing. Now, if we keep him and we win the championship, even if he leave, if we win championship, he leave, it, it, it's not a problem. But if he leave and you don't win the championship, it's a major problem. You know, um, subscribe, hit that like button. I'll be doing more videos. You know, you're getting the um, best knowledge of the NBA firsthand through me. And um, that's what I say. Hit that like button, subscribe. The Beat 139, y'all can subscribe to that. The good shirt, y'all y'all want that. Y'all probably can order this. You know what I'm saying? Peace.